you just got your sushi fix. Hopefully from a solid local place instead of a questionable grocery store. On the way home, you tune into a report on News Radio Now all about how some guy is suing some sushi joint after allegedly ingesting a parasite with his pompano. Hey, what's that gurgling? Uh-oh. Are you too now the unwitting breeding ground for some sushi-born, alien-like body buster set on bringing about your untimely demise? Nah. To be sure, raw fish can harbor some unsavory things, either naturally or through improper handling. Certain bacteria that create scombroid toxins can develop on non-fresh fish and may cause symptoms similar to allergic reactions. Certain tropical fish carry ciguatera, a toxin harmless to fish but poisonous to humans, with some pretty gnarly, if not necessarily fatal, symptoms. And yes, there are parasites too. They can coil into tiny crevices in fish virtually undetectable to the eater until it's too late. But sushi lovers should chill, because their fish probably already did. Along with an acute awareness of a fish handler's cleanliness, sushi preparers ensure no unwanted critters lurk in the fishy flesh by freezing the fish for an entire week at minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit. The process is standard among sushi preparers in North America, even at higher-ended restaurants. Outbreaks do happen. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention this spring linked more than 50 illnesses to salmonella in raw tuna. But the agency generally doesn't consider raw fish a major risk, advising only young people, pregnant women, people with weakened immune systems, and people over 65 to avoid raw fish. Besides, if you've ever believed you've been struck low by nasty nigiri, you might want to look for the offending organisms just below that glistening slice of salmon. Rice can get real funky real quick. At room temperature, the Bacillus cereus bacteria can spread through rice like, well, bacteria on rice, requiring an acidic vinegar bath to kill it. A poorly run sushi stop may have edible eel, but ruinous rice. Sometimes you're better off with a sashimi. It's fair to ask why this is happening in North Carolina now. I have not encountered in my 16 years one shark attack. Among the quoted up, not only do different plants like different temperatures, but higher temps also dehydrate your plants faster. Light from the east can be cooler than light.